there's a handful of horror games that everybody knows, but part of the allure of truly scary gaming experiences is not knowing what to expect, which is why I'm going to share with you some incredible horror games that you haven't played. I'm Adam Scott, and it's time to get spooky. When a game is made by a passionate team, you feel it throughout the experience. Song of Horror is not just a great survival horror game, but also a real labor of love. Spanish developer Protocol Games tried to get this game funded through a Kickstarter in 2015, but failed to reach their goals. Undeterred, they spent the next four years working on the game and released episodes as they were completed to help them fund the rest of the game. You'll know what drove them after experiencing how excellent this game is. Is anyone there? Old school survival horror fans like me have a lot to love with the fixed camera, the puzzles, the horrifying enemies, and the methodical exploration in each creepy and super detailed environment. At the start of each episode, you'll select from a small pool of characters. Elevating the tension is permadeath. Yeah, if one of your characters dies, they don't come back, but you're able to continue with one of the other remaining characters. There isn't combat, which actually makes sense based on what you're up against, the presence. Increasing the fear further is how the presence dynamically responds to how you play. It'll hunt you in unpredictable ways, offering a unique experience for every player that continually builds a sense of anxiety, since you'll never know what's lurking just beyond the next door. Many games die a slow, painful death in early access, but Darkwood was polished to a deep, dark shine. This survival horror game places heavy emphasis on survival. Taking place in a creepy, dark Soviet forest, you're in a top-down, semi-open, procedurally generated world that slowly opens up as the story progresses. During the day, you'll explore and scavenge for supplies, trade for what you need, repair and strengthen your hideout so you can survive the night. At night, you can't leave. They're coming and you must defend yourself from the unspeakable horrors until the morning. Strategy is key to surviving the night. Build your skills, master stealth, and fight to survive. Developed by Acid Wizard Studios, Darkwood earned praise for its difficulty, unique story, and creative art style, drawing a lot of comparisons to the likes of Silent Hill 2. This intimate and intimidating horror game disrupts the feeling of safety by making your only refuge from the unspeakable horrors that roam the game's world feel like both your only haven and the worst place you can be once the sun goes down. There's really nothing else quite like it. I feel something lurking around in the dark. Tormented Souls is a triumphant return to true survival horror. You play as Carolyn Walker, who's investigating the mystery of the missing twins. This is a great return to traditional survival horror, with a dynamic fixed camera, inventory management, and a huge variety of great puzzles that'll have you scratching your head but never leave you frustrated. You'll feel disempowered but not powerless with a small arsenal of weapons. The enemy designs have a lot of really great body horror that's the stuff of nightmares. These visuals would be incredible even for a big budget game, let alone this small indie team, and the production design is creepy, creepy stuff. I highly recommend Tormented Souls, and to see all my thoughts, check out my full review. Who is filming these atrocities? White Day, a labyrinth named School, was given a fresh coat of paint in 2017, and this unquestionably made the game scarier than the 2001 original by adding a host of new features, content, and even more macabre encounters to experience. You play as a high school student trapped in a haunted maze-like high school. You carefully navigate the school in first person, trying to avoid the horrors lurking in the dark. Now this is easier said than done. After all, there's a baseball bat wielding janitor stalking you along the way. Reminds me of high school. The janitor is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole array of ghosts that swarm the hallways and classrooms. Some just mess with you by randomly turning on and off the light switches or making noises. Others are less subtle, appearing in front of you in order to scare you or hurt you. There are eight different endings depending on how you play, which all makes for great replayability. At least for the brave.
Horror comes in all different shapes and sizes. Some games focus on the supernatural, like ghouls or ghosts, while others create a type of fear that's much more grounded in reality. The horrors, in Fears to Fathom, truly comes from its realism and what has gained this indie title its cult status. This is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a self-contained story. What sets Fears to Fathom apart from other games is the fact that its episodes are based on real-life stories and narrated by those who survived them. The first episode, Home Alone, deals with a home invasion scenario that's startlingly effective in its execution. Hearing a knock at the door while glimpsing a stranger through the blinds proves just as scary as it sounds. Even with its short runtime, the episode creates a dark and foreboding atmosphere. You can't put your finger on it, but something just doesn't feel right. The second episode, Norwood Hitchhike, capitalizes on the creepy hotel trope to the fullest. Both of these episodes feature unlucky characters in very bad situations, but the reminder that these events have actually happened never ceases to terrify. While there are only two episodes currently, the developer Rail is currently working on a third. If getting trapped in a haunted asylum for the hundredth time sounds boring, you should give the more grounded fears to fathom a try. Okay, well there's some great horror experiences that have flown under the radar. Have you played any of these games? What'd you think about them? And what are some other great horror games that no one's talking about? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want even more great horror experiences, check out my other videos. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.